the final pillar of creationism was the fairness one, that it's only fair to balance creationism, <laughs> balance uh, evolution with some form of creationism. This is actually the most successful argument the creationists have come up with. Not because it's a good one or because it's valid, but because of American culture. When you think about it, American culture is really concerned with fairness. We, have, we vote, we go to town meetings, we give everybody their say. And so if you were to say, well, you know, there's a lot of people in the community who really are upset about uh, their kids learning evolution, let's just teach creationism and make them happy. Unfortunately, what that, that, that does a lot of real violence to um, science, because science is not religion, they really need to be kept separately. And furthermore, whose creationism are you going to teach? We've just looked at the continuum, and that's just a very small, uh, I mean, I, I really just hit the high points there. There's a whole continuum of theistic evolution for all of that. There's more than just one view. And why would you stick to just Christianity? Why would you stick to the Middle Eastern monotheisms for all of that? Uh, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. There's lots of religions around the world, and they're all different. Native Americans have probably 40 different basic types of creation stories. Are you going to teach them? When, you, when the creationists say teach both, that opens up a real can of worms because there's more in two. There's only one evolution, but there's a heck of a lot more over there on the creation side. Sometimes the fairness argument is couched as, well, there are scientists on both sides. There's creation scientists, there's intelligent design scientists, there are evolution scientists, so there's scientists on both sides, let's teach them both. Lawyers have a kind of cynical statement about, um, about expert witnesses. For every PhD, there's an equal and opposite PhD. That's not true, particularly when it comes to evolution. Sometimes this, the idea, well, there's scientists on both sides, so it's equal. When you look at the number of scientists that are on the evolution side of things, scientists who are believers, scientists who are not believers, <coughs> uh, scientists who actually do research in the area, biologists, geologists, astronomers, the number of scientists over here on the evolution side compared to the number, the paucity, the tiny percentage of numbers on the creationism side it's ludicrous. This is not a matter of fairness. If it was fairness, and we were going to give the creationist scientists the amount of class time proportional to their efforts, well, you can imagine how much time they would get. <laughs> Lately at NCSE, we've been tracking what are referred to as academic freedom legislation. This is a new manifestation of the fairness argument, in which the claim is made that teachers should have the right to bring in alternative views. Basically what this is, is a way of sneaking creationism in through the back door. There's a number of euphemisms for this. Um, t students are encouraged, as they were in uh, Texas, to critically analyze, I'm sorry, in Ohio, to critically analyze evidence for evolution. Let me translate this for you. <laughs> critically analyze means criticize. It doesn't really mean critically analyze, as we've seen in the lessons that they came up with. Present the evidence for and the evidence against evolution. Present the strengths and weaknesses of evolution. Present evolution as <coughs> theory, not fact. Of course, that means theory in the guess or hunch fashion, not the way scientists use the word theory as explanation. Teach the full range of view about origins. Well, if you're talking science, the full range of views is common ancestry. And teach the controversy, which is the slogan of the intelligent design folks. <coughs> What we found in examining the science standards or proposals or um, plans that are submitted for these various euphemisms is they're really just trying to teach bad science in the name of fairness. 